everyone it's the blue footed newbies here and i just want to put together a quick video this morning to show you guys our cruise ship prison it is finally complete after 123 game days total time played 17 18 hours of play time to finish this prison <clears throat> oops off to the side anyways we want to do this quick overview because we will be starting a new prison monday based on some viewer requests about what we should do next before we get to that though, I just wanted to show you guys all the hard work that we've put into this. Our ship is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine levels of cruise ship goodness. Of course, there's no way to make multi-floor prisons in Prison Architect, so I had to do this awkward layout. There's no really stairways or elevator access to get between the floors, so I just had to put in these really long corridors up and down the whole ship i'll zoom in as you can see just basically fenced off sections with doors and gate servos now for the longest time i didn't even have door servos i just had guards opening and closing these gates paul problem is sometimes when a guard left to go to the staff room there would be like a hundred prisoners stuck in here and they would start rioting <laughs> So if you check out our other videos, there are lots of riots going on. We do have capacity for 600 prisoners in this baby. All right, and we do have $1.8 million left. That is not because this is sandbox mode. This was a real prison game, and that's just the amount of money that we just started saving up. Anyways, let's start with the first level of our ship. This is the level where there's the staff. That's where all the staff go, as well as uh, the entrance to deliveries, storage, exports. Our medical and psychological facilities are also in the first floor of our ship, which is accurate, I think, because we were on a cruise ship and they always told us medical was on first floor as well as all of the laundry. We have four laundry rooms. I th think, you know, on the ship, I don't even know where crew and staff stay, but I'm guessing they probably stay in lower levels as well. The second level of our ship is our smallest and cheapest rooms. These are all the dormitories rooms. And this entire level, level two, all dormitories. That is where most of our deaths and fights break out because they do not like being crammed in there. <clears throat> also threw in a mail room to the back of this. And I also cheated. I kind of put deliveries up here because when I had the delivery room go all the way down here, I was just getting a line of trucks that would not go anywhere, unfortunately. Uh, this is number three, deck three of our ship. It's also where we have our reception. So when passengers, I mean prisoners, get on the boat, they come into here. So they make their way down this corridor into this nice marbled tile floor design. Reception's up here. And we also have visitation, which is kind of like a big party area where everyone's coming to party. Ooh, people are getting tased in the background. As far as dining goes, we have two dining rooms here. These are kind of our fancy kitchens, as well as another canteen out here that's kind of like a cafe and lounge area, so canteen and yard. Proceeding forward, we also have a casino, which I've also called the yard. Uh, it's got you know, slot machines with these phone booths, some different other type of games <laughs> represented by all these weight benches. And we have your typical table games like craps, blackjack, etc. as pool tables. There's also a little security office. Make sure no one's cheating while gambling. We also have a shop where you can get all of your shopping done up here. And then spanning two floors, we have the chapel, which represents kind of the theater and entertainment space of a cruise ship. And of course, right behind the chapel are two small staff rooms. That's where all the actors and performers go hang out. I've also thrown in little public bathrooms around the ship every once in a while. 
so you can check that out. Real bathrooms. Trying to make this as realistic as possible. And look, here's the backup of trucks, of supply trucks coming. Even with our little delivery stop here, it gets a lot worse when they have to come down here for the deliveries though. I also had to cheat and put in a dog kennel. We had way too many people escaping. All right, where were we? Floor five. All right, four flat, four, uh, blah, tongue twister. Floor five and floor six are, are our nicer rooms. They have a little sectioned off bathroom with all the amenities and a little balcony even for them. Let's check that room quality tab. We got a 10. And stuck in the middle here, we have these tiny little cells as well because I had to make space. So that is floor five and six, nicer rooms. We also have a library on floor five for people to come hang out in. On floor six, we also have a big common room. I like to call this the computer room. People can come use the internets. Of course, they have to pay for Wi-Fi. It's $60 a day for Wi-Fi. That's the going rate on ships these days. And, you know, continuing, we have more continuation of the nice rooms. Here we have our executive business class, uh, first class, whatever class you want to call them rooms. These are our protective custody rooms. And the only mod that I used on this map, uh, where is it? Oh, looks like it disappeared, but I have the snitch sorter mod. So that as soon as inmates, as soon as prisoners come into reception, if any of them are snitches or ex-law enforcement, they automatically get put into protective custody. And that definitely saves a lot of work, especially when we have 600 prisoners. Uh, then we have classes up here. These are supposed to be just, you know, fun classrooms. And then this is like a yoga class. We have workout benches and exercise mats, AKA prayer mats. Anyways, that was five and six. Coming up on seven, we've got more rooms that are nice. And the main thing about seven is we have a fancier dining hall up here where the protective custody guys can go have their meals safely away from the peasants of the lower class. We're also starting to get into our outdoor space on our ship. The front of the ship now has a sunbathing area with all these little comfy beds. Finally, we get to the top floor, number eight. This is our main dining hall. This is the buffet room where most people come eat. We also, oh, we also have another mod for water. So this is our swimming pool and little hot tubs. And again, these are the bathrooms, public bathrooms. Of course, these are the showers that people use before they go swimming. We also have tons of beds for sunbathing and this nice wood deck, nice and sunny. Nice and sunny. Lots of beds to lay upon and get your tan. Finally, we have our spa. This is our solitary room. We've turned the... Oh, there's a, apparently someone... Two people are dead in our... Oh, all right. Lots of people are dead in our, uh, <laughs> in our spa room, apparently. I guess they were in the heat for too long. Anyways, we put some water in here, some nice beds and couches to sit on, and that is our spa, aka solitary. And last but not least, at the very top, on top of the spa area, we have our warden's office. He's the captain of the ship, as well as his security team, staff room, and the armory. And on the other side, on top of the main dining hall, we have our club. This is the club and dance floor where people come hang out. Got these nice little chairs set up for everyone, nice private rooms in the back, and of course our DJ booth, AKA security chief office. He's checking things out. And that, of course, is our workshop where people come to play. Now I, took this water mod and I used it. I tried to fill in the rest of this ocean, but it was a little too crazy to use. It's a little buggy, so I didn't go with that. I just left it as grass. 
So like I said, the only things that kind of disappointed me about this was I had to use these passageways to represent stairs and elevators. I had to put in dog kennels because people were tunneling too much. There are no dogs on cruise ships. And unfortunately, I also had to throw in... I had a metal detector for when prisoners first come in. But I also had to put in metal detectors between every elevator because people were getting killed every single day and I had to stop it and the only way to do that was just to throw in these metal detectors unfortunately uh, this is not a perfect prison I would say a cruise ship layout is not ideal because people have to walk very far distances to get to their food and for the laundry especially since it is on the first floor so although it's not the ideal layout, I did have a lot of fun creating this prison. And of course, if you join us on our Twitch stream, give me any suggestions. Tell me what you want to see. I will build it and we will have fun together. I'm already going to start a new prison on Monday uh, based on some viewers who wanted to see me create a prison that actually worked, unlike this prison. Of course, check out the previous episodes of this cruise ship because we had a lot of riots to put down. Anyways... Thanks for your time. I will be uploading this to the Steam Workshop in case you want to download it and play around with it yourself. Thanks for joining us the past couple of Mondays as we built this ship and hope to see you guys in the future. Have a good weekend, guys. Take care. Gotta go catch some Pokemons.